Hi! Welcome to my online origami owl jewelry bar. If you didn't already know, I'm Katie Drish. I am an origami owl independent designer. And first off, I'd like to thank everyone for joining me here online tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, but before we really jump into things, I'd like to tell you about Origami Owl and how it was created and what it's all about. And also a little bit about me and my story and why I started selling Origami Owl. Well, first off, Origami Owl was created about three years ago by a 14-year-old girl. Um, she went to her parents and told them that she wanted a car for her 16th birthday, and they told her if she wanted a car, she had to earn the money for it herself. So she came up with Origami Owl. She started selling it to her friends and her family and church members, community members, and yada, yada, yada. And about a month after that, she got a kiosk in a mall and started selling it there as well. Three months later, it sprang into what the company is now, a direct sales business. And three years later, it's definitely what it is today. And this is Bella, the creator of Origami Owl. Um, she is 17 and a senior in high school. And needless to say, she did get her car on her 16th birthday. That's her on her 16th birthday with her white Jeep. She named Alice. <laughs> but um, if you don't know what Origami Owl is, it is a custom jewelry line where you can make your tell a story in a locket. What you do is you pick out your charms, and then you pick out your locket for the charms to go in, and then you pick out the chain. Um, each locket is designed to tell a story about you or a person that you're giving it to. They are great for just getting one for yourself or for gifts. So now I'd like to tell you a little bit about me. I actually didn't know what Origami Owl was until this past June when I received this locket actually for my birthday from my wonderful aunt. Thank you, Juju. I love you. Um, and my locket definitely says a lot about me. And she took a lot of time and thought into picking out the charms that she picked out for me. This isn't all the charms she got me. She got me quite a few. Um, but if you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, I will actually open it for you and show you how Origami Owl actually works. What you do is you're going to want to open the locket. I definitely don't suggest doing it while it's around your neck, but there's two magnets on it. Let's take out all the charms. But here's just an empty locket. This is actually the large silver locket with crystals. Um, but how you get it open is the two magnets on the side. There's a little divot where you can open it up. And if you can see, I'm not sure if you can or not. Let's see if I can get it. Where the two magnets are on top and then there's the two on the bottom. That's what holds it together. It's not just going to pop open on you. But now, let me show you the charms that I have in mind that tell my story. And I'll put them back in here as we get through them, okay? My first charm that I absolutely love is because it represents me, um, is my K, actually. I was going to try to use the tweezers that we have, but this might be easier. My K. Um, there it is. It's really small and tiny to fit in the locket. Obviously, the K stands for Katie. Then I have my little charm that says love. Let me get it so you can see it. There you go. The love charm. And it's actually the not the same on the other side. The other side's just plain silver. See? Nothing really there. It's got the little O2 symbol on it for Origami Owl. Then I have my red high heel because, you know, High heels are awesome, and who doesn't like red high heels? See? I also have my, let's try to do it this way. Maybe this might make it a little easier with my fingers not in the way. I can pick it up. Hold on. <laughs> I have this one, which is the I Love My Dog charm. If you can see it right there. It says, I hurt my dog, because I do. I love my puppy, and my aunt knows that. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I also have my awesome little margarita glass because, well, she got it for me for my 21st birthday. There's the margarita glass. I have a wedding ring. A little mini wedding ring. It's super cute. That goes in here, too. Then I have my theater mask. Because I used to do a lot of theater in high school, and I really want to get back into it, but I love theater. I also have this charm, which is super special to me, and I think that's really cute, and it's good for anyone who's just got married. Um, it's the back of a car, and it says just married. You probably can't see it too well right here, but that's what it says. And she got me this one because me and my husband actually just got married in... April. So we're still kind of newlyweds. It's just been a little over a month. And then I have his first stone, which you can't see because it's in my fingers. So hold on. His first, my husband's first stone. It's actually in the shape of a heart. Um, then I have my birthstone, stone, which I dropped on the floor somewhere. I'll find it later. Um, and then last but not least, which is this one is actually one of my favorite charms because it means a lot to me. <coughs> it actually mean, gives me two different, helps me say two different things about me. The first thing is I'm a graduate of Musselman High School, which is home of the Musselman Appleman. And the second part of that one is I'm also in school to study to be a teacher. So it tells you a lot about me right there. That's my story and my locket. Um, but that's it for right now. Stay tuned. There's going to be a couple more videos I post, I'm posting tonight. But also, um, let me tell you about the mystery host hostess. That is my little thing for, to get people to come tonight. So what you're going to want to do is to be able to even put in the drawing for a hostess. You do have to pay, place an order because it wouldn't be fair. Um, but once you place an order, your name will be placed in a drawing. Hopefully at the end of the night, depending on how many people I have, and we will do a drawing, and whoever placed an order, and whatever, whoever's name gets pulled gets the hostess rewards for this, for tonight. Um, if you give me a little bit, I'll actually be posting what the hostess rewards for this month are, and they'll be yours if you get chosen as a hostess. Just keep a lookout, stay on the page, ask questions if you have any, I'll be online. To answer any questions you have and I'm going to get into showing you some more of the charms and some of the other things that we have to go into the lockets. So stay tuned and hope you're having fun.